So the next stage after you've got the texture to your liking is to um, start work on uh, fixing the expression on his face. Now, I am definitely one for a neutral expression on a face. Um, obviously in this he's smiling, which is fine. I mean, you can, you can keep it like that, absolutely. But, you know, for me, I actually prefer to just neutralise any of that kind of expression. So... Um, just because I think it looks very, very weird in game. So I'm going to enable your um, limit selection is visible. In fact, I'm gonna, just going to enable the screencast just so you can see what keys I'm pressing. So I'm going to enable limit selection to visible. And I'm also going to enable proportional editing, um, which obviously gives us the ability to mess his face around. Um, I'm going to obviously make, a, make it a bit smaller. I'm just going to take that smile out, um, you know, it's pretty easy stuff to do. You just, uh, just take some extra few minutes. Um, but I think the overall result that you get is much, much better than leaving those smiles in. So I'm fairly happy with that. What we may also need to do is because the smile quite often affects um, the lower part of any of the lips and things like that is we'll actually just have to make these a little more symmetrical. Smooth them off a touch. So let's have a quick preview of that in object mode. And that looks much better, you know, to my eyes at least. You know, you may disagree, you may prefer the smile on there, but I think that just looks, um, just looks better. Um, I'm, I'm a bit concerned up here, there seems to be some slightly weird texture stretching and stuff, so I'm just going to have a quick fiddle around and just make sure that that's looking good from as many angles as possible. So that, that to me looks not too bad. I'm going to kind of leave that where it is pretty much. Um, so the next stage is to basically go back into your, um, to your model. We need to join the two elements together again using Control and J. And uh, we're just going to do the last edits now um, to get the model ready for the game. So basically the way that I do this is um, I have basically have a side by side so I can pretty much line sort of line up the model with any reference that I have. Um, so as you can see in this reference here, um, I think possibly this area out here needs to come out a touch um, and possibly the cheeks as well need to be a bit more pronounced with this area sinking back a little. So the way we do that is just select the appropriate area um, on the model. So that's here for this bit. Uh, we'll just flick back to the front and we'll choose the mirrored point, which is there. Um, we'll rotate him back um, to approximately the right angle um, and then using proportional editing we'll just increase the size of that forehead area ever so slightly um, which will obviously do on both sides for what we want um, and, you know, we'll do the same here. Although actually that doesn't look too bad from that angle, but I think possibly this kind of cheek area needs to come out a tiny bit. So we'll just select that and its mirrored component, which I guess is probably about here. Maybe one out here. So we'll go with that um, and rotate him back so he's approximately the right way. And just pull those cheeks out a little bit. Try not to affect anything around the eyes. Um, like that. Actually, that looks a bit weird in that view. Perhaps we better operate on those individually. So pull that out a little. Possibly pull them out this way a little as well. And on this side, you know, we'll perhaps select it slightly lower. Like that. Perhaps sink these back, these areas back a touch.
so I think that's looking pretty good. Um, in fact, you know, if you want, you can keep working, you can keep working and working and working. Part of, um, you know, working on, on models of PS is actually knowing when to stop. You can keep going and going and going. But, it's, and, you know, obviously at this point, you can get some feedback from the from the from whatever forums you're on. Um, you know, I, the guys in uh, Evo Web are fantastic about giving good feedback. You know, usually very very constructive. Um, especially when I first started out, they were an absolute lifeline in terms of getting um, getting my um, skills up to scratch. But I'm really really happy with that actually. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to load up the game. We'll have a very very quick preview of it in game, um, and uh, that'll be the end of this part, and then in the next part I will show you the uh, how to do the normal detail maps and the um, specular map. Um, so I will see you in a moment in game for a preview of him as he is. Actually, before I forget, um, obviously I just want to run through this and reiterate it one more time, um, just because I think it's worth doing. Um, you know, every single time you uh, make an edit to your model, and you, especially when you joined the two halves together, you need to need to separate them. So you go into edit mode, select a point in the back area, uh, press Control and L together to select that area, then press P, and then separate by selection, and that gives you your two halves back. And again, remember to go in and rename so that that front part is called face.003, but this top part is not face000, it's hair underscore one, and I need to change that uh, name to hair underscore one as well, and just remove any additional stuff that actually appears on there. So that should be absolutely fine now in terms of exporting it, and then go in here, export your face, export your hair and export your XML. Um, so I'll see you in game in a sec. Hey guys, so here he is in game. Um, as you can see, he's already looking a lot better. So if we have a closer look. You know, we've taken the expression away. Um, the actual shape of the face looks Good. Um, obviously, there's a weird error with the um, hair underscore two part at the top, um, which we can fix in a sec. Um, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with them, to be honest. Um, it's not perfect, but hey, this is only ever a tutorial to show you guys, um, you know, the sort of rough skills that you need to be able to put these things together. Um, so next, we'll have a quick look at him in game, and uh, then we'll fix the Hair. No, actually, we'll do it the other way around. We'll fix the hair, and then we'll take another, take another look at him in, in game. So, see you in a sec. So, I'm back in um, Blender now, and what we're going to do is just fix up the hair underscore zero part, um, just so we're not working through the mesh. So, uh, let's start by. Um, and it's very, very important to use proportional editing on, on this guy, particularly. Um, but, and, you know, obviously start with a broad brush and just pull it out so you can actually see all of the geometry. Um, so. And in the same way as you started, you know, as we started with the very rough modeling, just, you know, keep massaging it until it looks right, really.
So I think that's pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, you know, there might be a few more errors that will need to be picked up. But you can see the general principle. It's just basically about getting this form to fit the head. Um, just have one quick check by enabling and disabling, just to check that this area up here is OK. In actual fact, it does need a bit more editing, so let's just go back in and do that. that now so if we make sure everything's enabled up here um, you haven't joined anything so you know these two are still separate halves and everything's enabled just very quickly move that in there So now that's done, let's just export um, the face, export the hair, and export the XML. And uh, I'll see you back in game in a sec, and we'll have one final preview. So here he is in preview mode. <coughs> so if we have a closer look, you can see that now we've moved that uh, mesh in, that it looks a lot better. There's still a couple of small errors, which are will fix before release, but for the sake of giving you guys a preview of what he's going to look like in-game, then this works fine, so pretty happy with him really. So um, I'll see you in a sec for the in-game view. So here we are in-game, um, as you can see, now that we've sort of evened out the lighting and things like that, it's looking a lot more... Um, Konami or PES style I suppose you could say and um, you know there's obviously still that error on the side of his head um, which will need to be fixed before release um, but that's easy to do you're again just moving the mesh of uh, underscore zero um, but yeah I'm, I mean I'm pretty happy with him I think you know it's fine nothing groundbreaking but it's showing, showing you guys how to uh, how to create a player for PES so <clears throat> what comes next is basically I'm going to do a few finishing touches and then um, I'm going to show you how to uh, do the normal maps and the spectrum maps which is going to add an extra layer of uh, detail to the model and uh, then it will be packaging up the final file ready to put online. Cheers guys. <laughs>